Freddie's artwork is a fusion of Western culture and traditional Japanese art. Finding time to run his business and make art was hard until Freddie found a way to mix them both. Freddie owns a beautiful restaurant in St. Helia's Bay by the name Fredino. His passion in traditional Japanese art is beautifully incorporated into his Western style cafe. Actually, this is a uh, this cafe has already been here more than thirty five years, and uh, what was because since I was uh, much I mean when I was young I came here quite often, and about six years six years ago uh, we sold this uh, this cafe to the market. So and then I've been using it. I mean, I, I live, I've been living in Saint Helens for a long, long time. So I thought there's a chance. Then that's why we, we I bought this business. Art is seen everywhere, from cuisine to decor. Before being a restaurant owner, though, Freddie worked as an artist. Ah,、uh, it's basically ah.、Uh, I'm doing everything、so, uh, from like、uh, easy from painting, sculpture, print, printing. If I do a little bit music and the film as well, and yeah, so my style I'm more like kind of a, we call like、um, more than art. Actually, I do more more than art style, like、uh, surrealism, pop art,、uh, even some mixed media. Yeah, so I'm quite interested in、uh, more than art. Actually, in my my art style, which I use a lot of、uh, Asia, for example, like an、uh, Asia, how we probably call populism is like、uh, some even、uh, comics, and、uh, we call emanations, and、uh, even something like、uh, a billboard. And、uh, graffiti, and、uh, even some、uh, music like、uh, Asian pop music, or some yeah, basically it's like more like mass media, so every every different kind of media, media, which is quite interesting for me. So I normally I just combine or mix up everything. On my like on my cameras or on my sculptures or、uh, what my art.、Uh, you know the basically nobody we when we see the comic which is a、uh, for for example comic books actually it's almost like、um, we call the two two D you know it's almost two D two dimensional maybe it's on the the books. So the surrealism surreal. I mean, for me, surreal is more like three-dimensional things. Like, um, we see when we see the the painting. Ah,、uh, if we see like um, surreal is surrealistic painting. You can see the almost artists they they create the image more. You can see the space, a lot of spaces. It's not only um only um two D. Sometimes they have three D or one.、Um, so you know, I just kind of.、Uh, Using a、uh, 2D image to combine the 3D image together. So not only, for example, it's not only on the on the paintings. For example, you put the go. You see, this is a, this is an item. It's like a pottery. The pottery don't if, you know, we, oh, definitely it's street 3D stuff. So you put a 2D image on the 3D stuff. And Freddie brought that innovative style of art into his food. So at this stage, I'm more focused on my food. So I make doing my art in my food. So it's like each meal which which I we we make or which we cook. It's like my art. You know, I just want to bring my art into my food as well. It's not only just you know just the food over there. You just eat it. You just get all smell good or looks nice. That's it. But I、uh, would always try to bring my art into my art. I mean, in my into my food. Freddie also uses his art to make the brand images in his cafe. I, for me, it's quite strong. 
normally this kind of symbol. So now, and the, the most important thing is that they, they lots of artists create on white, but also lots of images created by people. They want people to memorize. You know, they get, the, they want to people to mem remember what they're talking about, what the image is. For example, like Mike Donald, you know, the, you see the W, you know, the Mike Donald, or if you see Coca-Cola, the logos. Yeah, it's a kind of symbol. So, if you create a nice symbol in your, uh, for example, in your, uh, in your art or in your food, people will always remember who did made this food, created this painting. We also asked Freddie about the style of cuisine he offers. Yeah, uh, basically it goes uh, it's original from Taiwan, so I'm Asian. So, uh, I found it really interesting, you know, like, uh, we try to do, like, because we are in the New Zealand, so we use the New Zealand ingredients, and uh, we combine uh, some, we call, like, a Taiwanese or Japanese or Asian cooking way to present our food. So you may find out the summer combination which is quite interesting so it's not basically we not only making the food as the kiwi way or european way but uh, we also using our own traditional not called tradition even like asian way to making european food or kiwi food so the only the difference is between the process so what are Freddie's future plans? My future, Fred. Uh, first of all, I think I will just stay with my business. I wish it's going well. Then my future, Fred, is I wish one day I'm going to have a half gallery, a gallery, half like a restaurant or a cafe. This is my dream. And gorgeous beauty and the beast reminding one. Welcome to Cha Health. An ancient sage, Patanjali, defined yoga as Yoga Chitti Vritti Nirodha, which means restraining of the thought activity in the mind. Usually, the mind has a habit of either regretting the past or being anxious about the future. Mind has to be brought back to the present moment, and this is possible through yoga. Today let me show you the Cobra Pose or the Bhujangasana. Let us lie down on our stomach, feet together, arms by the sides of the body with the palms open towards the sky, chin on the floor. Take a few deep breaths. Now slowly place the hands under the shoulders, keeping the elbows close to the body. Breathing in, gently peel the chest off the floor. Make sure the shoulders and neck are easy and relaxed. Pushing the hands into the floor, take your head back and look up. Now gently come back and relax. The Bhujangasana or the Cobra Pose is really good for the back. It rejuvenates the spine, strengthens the arms, expands the chest and brings flexibility in the upper back. So don't forget to practice the Cobra Pose and I will see you again next week here at Cha Health. That's all for this week. Don't forget to send us your feedback. And if you've missed any of our episodes, you can catch up on YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you next week on Cha Time.